If you've never used generative AI before, it might help to compare it to something you have used before. Let's compare ChatGPT with Google. On the surface, generative AI looks a lot like a search engine. When you use Google, you start by typing what you're looking for into a text box. We call these words your search terms. When you hit enter, Google analyzes billions of websites to find the pages that contain the information most relevant to your search terms. Then it shows you links to those pages. When you use ChatGPT, you also start by typing what you're looking for into a text box. We call the words you type in the prompt. But when you hit enter, ChatGPT doesn't find an answer on the internet somewhere. It creates a brand new response just for you. In other words, while Google helps you find resources that already exist, ChatGPT uses artificial intelligence to create brand new resources that didn't exist before. For example, you might ask ChatGPT, what were the main causes of the Revolutionary War? The words you typed in, what were the main causes of the Revolutionary War, are the prompt. When you hit enter, ChatGPT doesn't answer you with a list of links to web pages about the war, and it doesn't answer you by quoting information from a website about the war. Instead, it instantaneously writes a brand new answer to your question using artificial intelligence. We call this kind of AI generative AI because it generates new resources in response to your prompt. Part of the magic of generative AI is that because it creates brand new responses to your prompts, you can ask it for things that don't exist. For example, you could ask ChatGPT to write a five paragraph essay about the causes of the Revolutionary War using examples from The Simpsons, and it will. Or you could ask it to write a children's story about the Revolutionary War where the main character is a lizard, and it will. You can even ask it to create an image of that lizard, but that's a topic for a different video. You can ask it to write the lyrics to a heavy metal song about the Revolutionary War, and it will. You can ask ChatGPT to create just about anything that uses words. For example, it can translate text from English to many other languages because a translation is made up of words. It can synthesize findings across multiple research articles because those syntheses are made up of words. It can simplify complicated texts for learners with lower reading levels because simplifications are made up of words. It can create new explanations using examples you specify, like explaining supply and demand in terms of tickets to a Taylor Swift or Beyonce concert, because explanations are made up of words. And ChatGPT isn't limited to a single prompt and single response. It can also carry out conversations, because conversations are made up of words. It can conduct a simulated job interview with you, because interviews are made up of words. It can role-play difficult conversations with you, because those conversations are made up of words. It can create a choose-your-own-adventure style interactive story, because stories are made up of words. It can even give you a 20-item practice quiz with personalized feedback on each question, because quizzes and feedback are made up of words. Generative AI tools like ChatGPT are incredibly powerful, and there's a lot to learn about them in order to use them effectively. Hopefully, this video has helped you take your first step on that learning journey.